love fam. It's your favorite cousin, your favorite nephew, your favorite uncle, your favorite father, your favorite son, your best friend's best friend. It's me, Dr. Larry, and welcome to Living For You, the YouTube channel. This is a safe space, a positive place in which we come together, we grow, we discuss our journey in life, I do some coaching, we do some sharing, and we grow within ourselves with each other on this journey of life. If this is your first time seeing me, I am Dr. Larry Smith. I am a life and spiritual coach. You can find out more about me at www.liveforyoucoaching.com. That's www.liveforyoucoaching.com. And if you want to follow me on social media where I post a lot of things about entertainment, about history, about business, about life, motivational, inspirational, spiritual, all that stuff, you can follow me at Dr. Larry Smith on both Instagram and on Facebook. That is Dr. Larry Smith on both Instagram and Facebook. I wanted to take a special slot really quickly to thank my loyal and faithful subscribers, family. You have been here since day one. You are continually showing support. You are liking the videos, which is what all of you should do. You should like the video. You should give a response. You should also go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Why come here and indulge in all this and sit with the family and not be a part of the family? If you're a part of the family, then we're loving you. We're loving you regardless, but there's a special kind of love where you know you're part of a community of positive, like-minded, spiritual, mentally capable, intelligent, woke, <laughs> whatever that word, people. You're in a space like that. This is definitely a space for that. So hit the subscribe button. And, um, I just want to show you guys some special love. So my family, I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me. We're going to go into this next year on fire. And my blessings and my hope and my well wishes go out to all of you. I, I, I am definitely holding space, positive energy, light for all, everybody who is subscribed to this channel. So if you subscribe to this channel, you got blessings coming because I am doing nothing but sending prayers and well wishes and high hopes for all of you. I love you. That's my gift to you. Anyway, I want to get on here today and talk about Will Smith and Jada Pickett or Will and Jada Smith, <laughs> however you want to put it. Um, their relationship, their lives have been public and it seems like in these last few months, their lives have been really, really, really in the public due to them telling all their business. Some people say oversharing. Some people say not sharing enough. Some people say sharing just the right amount. Some people like me, eh, I can take it or leave it. I'm not in the game or out the game. It doesn't matter. But I will say two things. While I do believe Will and Jada are sharing a lot, I do believe that some of the stuff that they're sharing can be used for a positive. So there was actually this petition um, that was being signed, that's, the numbers on it are raising and increasing, of people trying to get them to be shut down, like to stop doing interviews with Will and Jada, because they've talked about everything from their sex life, from, from their relationship problems and infidelities and all of this other stuff, their business, it's just been a lot. And people want, are wanting to shut that down, which I find odd and ironic because I can recall for years, everybody had questions and everybody had speculations and hypotheses and conspiracy theories about Will and Jada's relationship. So now that they're letting you in, it's kind of like I'm in the house now, but I, I can see that your house is not somewhere I want to be. So the American people are very funny in that regard. They will badger you to tell them. And then when you actually give them the truth, if the truth is too heavy to handle, then they're like, uh. I'm, I'm, I'd rather you not tell me no more. It's a, <laughs> I'm sure it's interesting when you're a celebrity of the status of Will Smith and Jada Pickett. But like I said, it's not a situation in which we should throw the baby out with the bathwater. There is some things that I find that they talk about that's very important that needs to be addressed publicly that nobody else was addressing. Jada talks about a lot of stuff on the Red Table Talk that matters. Will Smith published in his book and in some of his interviews and on some of his movies, he have given things that have mattered. And so I think it's important to understand that while we don't want everything, we don't like everything, you can't control the water once you get the tap going. And so at the end of the day, let it run. And if it's useful to you, then you can use that water. And if it's not useful to you, let somebody else who might find it useful use it. 
It is what it is. They're celebrities, their lives are different, their lives are theirs. They have a right to express about their life just like everybody has a right to express and discuss and talk about things that are in their lives. But I think what I, what my take on the whole thing is, especially as it relates to relationships, because that's really what I wanted to get on here and talk about, their relationship. Not necessarily talking about it from a perspective of analyzing what the relationship is or trying to understand from my perspective what the relationship is. But I will say ultimately their relationships seem to be solid because they seem to be on the same page and same energetic field as to where they go and how they move. Because if Jada says something that might seem offensive, everybody, everybody's all in arms like, oh, Jada said this about Will. She is making Will look crazy. She is doing all of this stuff. And, and they get on edge about some of the things that she's brought out and have disclosed on the Red Table Talking in interviews. They've, they've had all kinds of things to say. But if you do not believe that Will and Jada Smith are planning this before they even put it out there, as many years as they've been out <laughs> in the public eye, you are sadly mistaken and you ain't been paying attention. Because immediately when Jada says something, not that long down the line, Will comes back either to clarify it or to add to it. <laughs> I remember when the whole August Alcina thing came out with Jada and and the entanglement and, and people just looking at, oh my gosh, she's making Will look bad and this, 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 this. Will came right down the line and did his own interview. He had, he actually, they sat together at the red table and they had the conversation publicly in front of everybody. You go back and you uh, talk, when, when they talked about, uh, I think it was Will, maybe, or maybe it was Jada, one of them brought up the conversation about Jada's relationship with Tupac or how she admired Tupac and was very close to Tupac. And it wasn't a sexual relationship that we know of or anything. And if it was, it wasn't like an ongoing thing. We don't really know. But at the end of the day, we get after Jada gave her interview, Will comes down the line and explain how he felt about that and how Tupac made him feel, even though he knew the real reality is that Jada was his wife and she he was her husband and their thing was there. He still had a, kind of almost an intimidation of Tupac, you know, and, and he clarified what she was saying, added to what she was saying and a whole host of other things. And so for those people who think that they're just out there talking about their relationship and they're on two separate pages and they're incompatible, these two are very smart about getting their name out there, especially in the right time. Will Smith published his book. Now he got a movie. And so, of course, they revved up their interviews and revved up their public appearances and began talking about all of their business. And Jada did the same thing in her support, even though she don't have a movie out right now, but she did the same thing in support of her husband in connection with her platform, which right now is the Red Table Talk and so forth. And so at the end of the day, they are using the media the way famous people have always used the media. <laughs> The only difference is, is we feel like as culture, as people, specifically I'm talking to my people, African American people in this instance, we are using this cult, this, 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 this thing we have as culture and we are feeling too connected to Will and Jada, right? We feel like we had to protect their image and now there are people who feel like they're breaking their image. We've known Will since the Fresh Prince. We remember Jada from A Different World and from Set It Off and, and the Independence Day with Will and the big movie star. They was kind of like our black royalty, our black people, public figures. And we have a few of them, but they're like ours. It, it'd be akin to like if Michelle and Barack Obama overshared, right? We would feel some kind of way because as a community, as a culture, we want to protect them, but we feel a certain kind of way when we can't protect them and they're not really making it easy <laughs> for the culture to protect them. But I will say this, let them go, let them go. Instead of indulging all of it, take it for what it is and the stuff that matters, the stuff that has substance for you, take that in and find it useful for yourself but you don't have to consume everything, but you also can't control people's ability to express who they are, what they're going through, what their life is. We have to get out of that space that we're in <laughs> across social media, in American culture, in which we over, over commit ourselves to the lives of these famous people. 
We overcommit ourselves to the lives of these influencers and these public figures. We overcommit ourselves so much that no matter what they do, it impacts us and we get upset about it, we get sad about it, we get happy for them. And like I said, that's a choice. <laughs> you don't have to be indulged that much in these people's lives. Take it for what it is. Take the useful, ignore the stuff that you don't find useful because somebody else might find that stuff useful. But I will say Jada and Will are doing something that's important because they are showing a strong front. In the midst of all the adversity and in the midst of all the, the accusations of cheating and infidelity and all the stuff that seems crazy, Will and Jada Smith, Will and Jada Smith or Will and Jada Pickett Smith are actually showing us one key factor in keeping a relationship. And if you missed it, then you're missing the point. The key factor is, is that you always are on the same page. No matter what the obstacles, no matter what the issues is, one of the strongest, if not the strongest thing that you have to have in a relationship is being on common ground, on the same page, reading from the same script, working in the same row. You know, a lot of times we're of the impression that it's all about love. You know, if I have love in my relationship, it's going to sustain. Or some people think it's about money. If we have money in a relationship, it's going to sustain. Some people think it's about sex. Or if we have sex in a relationship, it's going to sustain. But at the end of the day, that's not a guarantee. You're not guaranteed to have money. Something can happen when you can't have sex. And love is an emotion that's relative to each particular person. Sometimes you're in a relationship where that person might have more love for you than you have for them or vice versa. So love is not a good enough gauge to keep a relationship together. What has to be there is the fact that I'm on this page and the person I'm with is on this exact same page. So when we move, we move in sync. It may seem chaos and cha chaotic and chaos what Will and Jada are doing. Well, Jada do an interview and it seems crazy, but then Will comes back. It seems like they're at odds, but, at the, but on an energetic level and also on a kind of a planned level, they're working in tandem with one another. <laughs> they're supporting each other within this as well as advertising their stuff <laughs> and getting paid at the same time. Will's book is a bestseller. The Red Table Talk is is highly viewed. Why? Because you're expecting something, but they're giving you them working together for the team. They're, they're, they're each other's teammate. And if you're not noticing that, then you're not paying attention. You're getting caught up in the, the, the smoke <laughs> to not even pay attention to the fire. And, and, and that's very important that you see that. I don't believe Will and Jada Pickett Smith are on the verge of a divorce. I don't believe that. <laughs> I believe that that bond is very strong and whatever they got works for them. Now, we don't know the interworkings, inner workings, all of the mechanics and everything that goes into their relationship that makes it work the way it works. We know none of that. And that's fine. I don't need to know their business because what happens behind their closed doors, when the lights are down and the cameras are gone, that's not my business. Their life is their life. They can have that for me personally. However, <laughs> I will say, at the end of the day, when they're coming to engage us, the public, they're together. They're at a, they are working together, even though it seems as though sometimes that they are not. And so that is a relationship goal, ladies and gentlemen. Whether it feels uncomfortable, some of the things that they are talking about, that is a relationship goal. That you and the person you with are on the same page. That no matter what's coming against you, coming around you, coming in front of you, you're going to solve it together, or you're going to deal with it together. So I'm sure Will and Jada saw the petition. I mean, it got a lot of steam, it got a lot of media coverage, but do you think they care? No. Because once again, we're all entitled to discuss our experiences. We're all entitled to talk about our lives and to share as much as we, or as little as we, want to share. So I'm not one of these people who are, oh, I'm gonna sign this petition because I'm so sick of Will and Jada. If that was the case, there are a lot of celebs <laughs> that I can list that if I could just sign a petition to get them to stop doing interviews, I would. Because there's a lot of people who says a lot of ignorant things, way more offensive and way more hurtful and ignorant than Will and Jada. <laughs> than Will and Jada. You know, Will and Jada is just demonstrating what an authentic relationship looks like. 
And like I said, that's uncomfortable. And you know why it really is at the core uncomfortable for us? It's because a lot of us out there have never experienced a real, authentic, raw relationship. We've had relationship problems. We've had relationship issues. We've had relationships go good. We've had ups and downs in relationships, but very few of us in public are willing to talk about the ups and the downs because all romantic relationships go up and down. I have friends who've been married for 50 plus years or more, and they would attest relationships are up and down and up and down. Some days you like each other, some days you won't. You don't. Some days you want to sleep with somebody else. Some days you want to only be with the person you with. Some days you want to spend the rest of your life with this person. And there's days you can't even stand to be in the same room or for hours with this person. And so it, 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 it's about up and down. But many times when it comes to celebrities and even sometimes in our own personal lives, I know me personally, I'm not a person who when in a relationship, share all my business. You know, unless you're in my inner circle, you don't know who I'm dating, you know, if I'm dating. You know, and, and and you don't really know, and, and even if you're in my inner circle, you might know who I'm dating, but you don't know what the ups and downs of my relationship is, <laughs> because I don't like to share that. It's either with my partner or with a therapist, <laughs> okay? Someone who has the intention to help us work through those ups and downs, not a friend of my, my relationship or a friend of mine, because at the end of the day, people are biased right <laughs> to their respective friends and so at the end of the day I don't I'm not a, a sharer of my personal business but I guarantee you if I got on a public platform this public platform just like Will and Jada and I was willing to be open and honest and transparent and just open my life to you guys it, you will see those same cycles ups and downs ups and downs things that are shocking things that don't feel comfortable things that don't sound good all of those things would be present because that's real <laughs> That is what real is. <laughs> that is what raw is. And most people just aren't ready for that because we're guarded about things we hold secret. Your sex lives, your relationships, your, your politics. So, there's so many things we hold guard secret when at the end of the day, everything's out for opening. There's nothing new. <laughs> what Will and Jada is saying isn't new. What they're talking about isn't something that no one ever has experienced in the relationship. People have re experienced those things. People experience those things now. Some of you are going through those exact same things that Will and Jada have talked about or are talking about right now. I say all that to say this. Let them people live. Let them people live. <laughs> As with any celebrity, let them people live their lives on their terms. No one gets a chance to orchestrate and dictate how people share or what people share that's their business. What you can do is if you have a problem with what they share, turn it off. Don't listen. Look the other way. Don't respond. You're putting your choice to engage and to get a rise out of it. So the experience that you're feeling is your fault. <laughs> so at the end of the day, if it ain't your cup of tea, go get you some coffee or some water or something else. And if it is, then don't. And then also realize that everything that they're saying isn't unuseful. A lot of it is useful. So some of it needs to be heard even if it's uncomfortable because that's how the truth works. That's how the raw, real works. Some of it is good and it, it hurts, but it's good because at least you got that jolt that's gonna possibly get you in the right area. Leave Will and Jada alone. I ain't signing no damn petitions. <laughs> I passed on by the petition. I'm gonna say you they're free to talk. I'm listening to some of it, some of it I'm not. And I'm not getting in my feelings either way because I'm not them people, that ain't my life, my choice is <laughs> for my life, and I'm just merely observing someone else being real, being raw, being open with their relationship, something I wouldn't even do, <laughs> so I'm, I'm all here for it, I'm okay, I'm learning from it, I'm growing from it myself mentally and emotionally, because I'm looking at it from a different perspective, even if it's things I don't want to hear, that's it, <laughs> that's all, that's it, that's it, that's all, that's it. My family, hopefully you got something out of that. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it makes you ponder or at least go back and take some type of inventory of what you think about Will and Jada or any celebrity for that matter and their personal business being out there and exposed for us. They don't have to do it, um, but they've chosen the life to be famous and they've also chosen to give us a little bit more of the backstory behind the scenes of their staged public lives. 
Family, I love you. <laughs> I love you, love you, love you with the highest love. Remember to like the video. Remember if you haven't subscribed, please, please do me a kindness and subscribe to the channel. Like the videos, share the videos, leave me some comments, and um, yeah, do all of that. <laughs> and as I always say, I love you, love you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.